Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric and this is the first ever edition of Pick Me Up Mondays. Today I'm going to share with you some of the pickups that I got from my Con Bravo trip. I went all the way to Canada and picked up a few games. Nothing too fancy smancy. But, you know, I, I came back with some good shit and I'm glad to share this with you guys. Shut the fuck up. Now let's start off small. Now I, Alpha Mega Sin actually gave me these because he got these coasters from 8-Bit Evolution and he said he wasn't going to use them. I do have some already so hey, you know, more the merrier. I'm planning on making some kind of cool little artwork with these because they're kind of really paper thin. They don't seem like they're to last that long if you put like a cold beer on them. But I think it would be cool to put them in a frame and make some kind of like collage thingy. Uh, I also got a Game Chops Splatoon CD. Now, these have been being played at the various conventions at DJ Cutman and Grindcraft and a couple of them. These DJs have their music playing over the speaker and I'm just totally digging the Splatoon soundtrack and the remixes. So yeah, I picked this up. I got a fuckload of manuals. Some of these from Grimsy42, some of them from Alpha Omega Sin, and some of them from Pat I believe. So um, I don't remember who got me what. I just know that I have a Castle Quest. Jesus Christ. The phone up to the house is fucking ringing while I am recording. I hate that shit. Who calls a house phone anyway? What the fuck? Alright, so Castle Quest for the NES. That rhymes. Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, one of the most common NES games. Didn't have a manual for it. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors with Fabio on it. And another common NES game, Super Mario Brothers 3 needed it. So those are my NES manuals. Now I have some good Super Nintendo titles. I have Donkey Kong Country. Don't have the manual for that. That's a classic. Star Fox, another one of my favorite classics. Super Mario Kart, another classic. And Super Mario RPG, another classic. So not bad in the manuals department. I went to a game store on the way home with some of the guys, Game Chasers, and with Game and Historian. I got a couple of Famicom games, Dragon Ball, which is actually Dragon Power here in the United States, but I just thought it was cool to get it. And I got King Kong 2. This game has been getting a lot of attention lately. It was on a James and Mike play, and other people have been reviewing it, so I figured, hey, why not? Now, speaking of Game and Historian, he gave me College Slam, a sports NES, Super the a sports Super Nintendo title that, yeah, it's common as fuck, but I didn't have it and he was offering it, so I said, why not? At the actual convention itself, I bought a couple of games from a vendor. One of them was one that I was actually eyeing over here in town at a store, but I managed to get it for a lot less at Con Bravo. I got it for 30, Death Race. It's a game that I've been keeping my eye on, and the store that I saw in town over here has it for 50, so 30, you can't beat that. And then I got Dai Shimurfi, so the Smurfs, for the NES. And yeah, so PAL only title, wanted to get it. Uh, I paid about 40 for it, so not too bad. And the coup de grace of this trip, and I got a pretty good deal on it from 1-Amp Games, is um, a game that I have been wanting, and it's Action 52. So Action 52 is finally in my collection. It does have a little chip right here, but other than that, it's in pretty good condition. Now, a funny story about this is a lot of people have their eye on this because it was priced rather pretty low for a Action 52, and I was debating on buying it. I was like, man, should I should I pay for it? And I was just I was just thinking about it, and guys from Ryan to even Jay was considering buying it. And when I was about to buy it, Pat, the NES punk, actually, literally was like, I have the cash for it, Canadian, just give me it. And I was like, please, Pat, please don't. And he had this big grin on his face, and it was funny, but he said he'll show me mercy. And he did, and he said it would be funny if I mentioned it. So, Pat, I'm mentioning that you showed me mercy. You let me get the game, even though you already have it. There was no reason for you to get a second one, but I do appreciate you letting me get it. It was very nice of you, because I didn't have the Canadian cash. I had to charge it on a card and all this hoopla. So, Pat, thanks a lot. Finally got Action 52. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this Pick Me Up Mondays episode. This was some of the pickups I got from my Canada trip. It was pretty fun. I had a blast. 
maybe I'll see you guys up there at Con Bravo soon. Who knows? But yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.